colon, a single particle, smaller than a speck of dust, vanishes in one corner of a lab at MOT and reappears somewhere else entirely. Not just moved, teleported. Instantly. This isn't science fiction, it's quantum teleportation. A real phenomenon we've mastered with tiny particles like photons and atoms. For decades, scientists have used the strange rules of quantum mechanics to pull off this trick, sending information across distances in ways that defy our everyday understanding of reality. But here's the question that keeps physicists up at night. What happens when we try to scale this up? Could we teleport bigger things, molecules, objects, maybe even people? And what if, in pushing those boundaries, we stumble across something the universe didn't mean for us to find? Today, we're diving deep into the mind-bending world of quantum teleportation, exploring its triumphs, its limits, and a chilling possibility. That recent experiments might have uncovered a glitch in the very fabric of reality. So, buckle up, hit that like button, and let's unravel the science, the stakes, and the mysteries of quantum teleportation. Let's start with the basics. Quantum teleportation isn't about zapping objects across space like in Star Trek. It's about transferring the quantum state, the unique fingerprint of a particle, from one place to another without physically moving the particle itself. Imagine you have a secret message written in a code so delicate that even looking at it destroys it. Quantum teleportation lets you send that code to someone else perfectly intact as long as you follow the rules. The key is something called quantum entanglement, a phenomenon Einstein famously called spooky action at a distance. When two particles are entangled, they're linked in a way that means measuring one instantly affects the other, no matter how far apart they are. Scientists use this to teleport information. Here's how it works. Alice, in one lab, has a particle she wants to teleport to Bob in another lab. They share an entangled pair of particles like quantum twins. Alice measures her particle alongside the one she wants to teleport, destroying its original state but creating a set of instructions. She sends those instructions to Bob, who uses them to recreate the exact quantum state on his particle. Poof! The information has teleported. The original is gone and Bob's particle now carries its exact properties. This process, first demonstrated in 1997 with a single photon, has been refined over decades. By 2017, China's Mitya satellite teleported quantum states from Earth to orbit over 500 kilometers away. It's real, it's repeatable, and it's already changing how we think about communication. But here's where things get wild. Quantum teleportation isn't just a cool lab trick, it's the foundation for technologies that could reshape our world. Quantum communication networks, like the ones China is building across thousands of miles, promise unhackable security. Why? Because any attempt to intercept a teleported quantum state destroys it instantly. This makes quantum teleportation the holy grail of secure communication, eyed by governments, militaries, and tech giants alike. The US, China, and Europe are pouring billions into quantum research, with DARPA and the NSA leading efforts to harness this power. Imagine a world where classified military data, financial transactions, or personal messages are transmitted with perfect security. That's the promise. But there's a catch. The no-cloning theorem, a bedrock of quantum mechanics established in 1982, says you can't make perfect copies of a quantum state. Teleportation works because it's a cut-and-paste process, not copy-and-paste. The original state is always destroyed, or so we thought. Recent whispers from MIT's quantum lab suggest something unsettling. What if the universe doesn't always follow its own rules? What if, under certain conditions, Quantum information leaves behind a ghostly echo, a duplicate that shouldn't exist. Let's explore this possibility and why it's sending shockwaves through the scientific community. Don't forget to subscribe to stay in the loop for what's coming next. The rumor started with a supposed experiment at MIT's Center for Ultra-Cold Atoms, where researchers push quantum systems to their limits. They cool atoms to near absolute zero, a temperature where strange quantum effects dominate. In these conditions, they've observed something called residual coherence, faint traces of a quantum state that linger after they should have vanished. It's like deleting a file on your computer, only to find it reappears seconds later. 
These traces aren't supposed to exist, but they do, persisting for seconds or even minutes. Then there's quantum ghost imaging, a technique used in labs worldwide. Scientists use entangled photons to photograph objects, but here's the twist. The photons that create the image never actually touch the object. When it's as if the object's quantum shadow is doing the work, these phenomena hint at a universe that keeps backups of information in ways we don't fully understand. But the MIT rumor goes further. Reports claim a teleported particle's state was sent across their system, only for an identical ghost copy to reappear at the starting point. If true, this violates the no-cloning theorem, a principle that's held firm for over 40 years. It's not just a lab error, it's a crack in the foundation of quantum mechanics. Why does this matter? Because if quantum information can duplicate itself, every secure quantum communication system, from military networks to future internet protocols, could be vulnerable. Imagine sending a top secret message, confident it's unhackable, only to find a faint quantum echo lingering at the source, ready for someone to exploit. That's a national security nightmare. Let's step back and look at the bigger picture. Quantum teleportation isn't just about communication, it's a window into the deepest mysteries of the universe. In 2022, MIT, Caltech, and Google teamed up to simulate a traversable wormhole using a quantum computer. They didn't open a portal through space, but they sent quantum information through a structure that mimicked a wormhole's properties, a bridge through space-time. This wasn't science fiction. It was published in Nature, a top-tier journal. The experiment showed that quantum teleportation could probe the connection between quantum mechanics and the geometry of space-time itself. What if MIT's later experiments, the ones behind these rumors, were pushing even further into this frontier? Some theorists propose a concept called time-lagged quantum echoes, where quantum information reappears after a delay as if the universe has a memory replay button. This ties into the holographic principle, a mind-bending idea that all information in a volume of space is stored on its boundary like a cosmic hard drive. If every quantum state leaves an imprint in space-time, then maybe nothing is ever truly lost. Every particle, every teleported state, might leave a ghostly backup embedded in the fabric of reality. This raises a profound question. If particles can leave ghost copies, could larger systems, like thoughts, memories, or even people, do the same? Drop your thoughts in the comments because we're about to go deeper. Now, let's make this personal. Imagine a world where nothing is ever truly gone. Every text you've deleted, every photo you've erased, every memory you've forgotten. What if they're all preserved in the quantum layers of reality? Scientists already speculate that consciousness might arise from quantum processes in the brain. If quantum states can persist or duplicate, could our thoughts and memories leave traces too? This isn't just philosophical musing, it's a real possibility MIT's work forces us to consider. Picture digital resurrection, restoring lost conversations, rediscovering destroyed records, or even recovering pieces of someone's mind. It's inspiring, but it's also unsettling. If every moment of your life is archived in the quantum fabric of the universe, what does that mean for privacy, for permanence, for who we are? And here's the kicker. If teleportation technology ever scales to complex objects, and if ghost copies are real, you might not just get teleported, you might get duplicated. Two versions of you, with identical memories, both convinced they're the original. That's not just a physics problem, it's an existential one. To keep exploring these mind-blowing ideas, hit that subscribe button and share this video with anyone who loves questioning reality. Let's address a common misconception. Teleportation doesn't mean beaming people across galaxies tomorrow. Despite what sci-fi shows us, we're nowhere near teleporting anything bigger than a few atoms. The energy and precision required to teleport even a single molecule are staggering, let alone a human with trillions of particles. Each particle's quantum state would need to be measured and reconstructed perfectly, a task that's currently impossible with our technology. Plus, the no-cloning theorem means we can't just copy someone and send the copy elsewhere. The original has to be destroyed. That's a hard sell for anyone volunteering to step into a teleporter. But the principles of quantum teleportation are already at work in real-world applications. 
quantum cryptography powered by teleportation is being tested in networks across the globe. Companies like IBM and Google are building quantum computers that rely on these same principles to process information in ways classical computers can't. And while human teleportation is a distant dream, the idea of teleporting quantum states across vast distances, like from Earth to a Mars colony, could revolutionize how we communicate in space. So, where does this leave us? If MIT's ghost copy is real, it's a game changer. It suggests quantum information can behave in ways we never predicted, challenging the no-cloning theorem and opening doors to both incredible possibilities and serious risks. Secure communication systems could be at risk, but we might also unlock new ways to store and recover information. The universe might have a memory we're only beginning to understand, with quantum backups hidden in its structure. This discovery, if confirmed, could redefine physics, technology, and even our sense of self. But even if the MIT rumor is just that, a rumor, the progress in quantum teleportation is undeniable. From photons in the 1990s to satellite experiments in 2017, we're pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The next breakthrough could come from anywhere. A lab at MIT, a satellite in China, or a quantum computer at Google. And when it does, it'll change how we see the universe and our place in it. So, what do you think? Is MIT's quantum ghost a glimpse of a new reality? Or just a glitch we'll explain away? Share your thoughts in the comments, like this video, and subscribe to stay on the cutting edge of space science. The universe is full of mysteries, and we're just starting to unravel them.